So village meeple, first of all, it's punny because it sounds like village people and that always makes me happy. Um, secondly, a meeple is a, a little board game person. Um, so that's been kind of uh, inspirational for us. Uh, and then our family and friends are kind of our own little village. So it has triple meaning for us is why we went with it. Uh, village meeple, we are looking to be um, kind of your, your place for board games. We have an, a board game library of over 350 games. Um, you come in, pay $5 at the table, and then grab some food, grab some drinks, and grab a game, and grab a table, and off you go. Um, we're hoping to be a center for people to come together, to, to play, to learn, um, to challenge their brains. Sometimes we all need that a little bit. We'll have some food and drink. Um, right now we are in the process of expanding our kitchen. It's a little smaller than we would have liked uh, initially, so most of our food will be pre-packaged, but we are currently working with local small businesses to try to bring some of their wares into our to our facility. Um, we're talking with No Baked Cookie Dough and so we're hoping to bring them in because it's definitely one of my favorite places. Um, and then the food and the drink side of it, we've got um, juice, water, sodas, and we also have our liquor license. So we'll have beer, wine, and seltzer for sale as well. We have been board gamers for practically my whole life. Like we were raised playing games, playing cards, uh, always at the table and, and kind of that uh, companionable competition kind of thing. We, we tend to make everything into a game eventually. So we've always had that love and I have a pretty extensive board game collection at home and that's uh, one of my favorite things to do is to bring people in, teach them new games that they've never heard of and they're like, wow, this was really great. I would have never even tried this. So that, that love was always there, but in terms of making it into a business, um, that actually happened in, we, I was kind of thinking the genesis behind it, like you said. Um, during COVID, I started my own business um, just on the side, kind of an Etsy project. Uh, with my mom, we, would, we did a, pro, a company called Geek Ethos and we would make custom cosplay fabrications and then we started making dice trays and dice rollers and then we, we would sell it on Etsy and then we would go um, to different comic cons and different festivals and sell our wares. So we started having like a make your passion your business there. Um, and then when the Branson Board Game Cafe came up for sale, we started talking with the owners um, and it didn't work out to purchase that, which actually worked out fine for us because we live, work, play, everything in Springfield. So that drive wouldn't have been great for our family. So when that didn't work out, we were like, we'll just build it here. And, and so we've kind of gone after it like that. Well, I'm hoping we have created a place that we like to joke that it's eclectic home. We've it's a colorful, inviting space. Um, I'm, I've been asked kind of why the $5 fee, um, but we've, we're trying to create an experience. So similar to going to uh, play putt-putt or go to the movies or other things where, yeah, you could do those things at home, but it's just part of an experience to actually go to a place to do that. So we've worked really hard to create an inviting space um, that's colorful but comfortable where you can bring your family and your friends and actually stay and hang out for a while. So we're hoping that they feel comfortable here, wanna stay here, wanna come back. Um, honestly, we are really big on inclusivity. Um, I'm wanting to create a space that anybody feels comfortable here. We have uh, all ages games. So we've got children's games, like all, we've got Candyland, we've got some different games <laughs> that we're gonna play. Um, and then all the way up to that that more experienced board gamer who maybe wants to sit at the table for two or three hours plus and then read like a long manual of a rule book. So I, I really have tried to craft something that could appeal to everybody. Um, we have a lot of more beginner level people in our friends and family because they haven't been exposed to these games as much. So I've really tried to draw on those, those opportunities that we've had with them to build stuff to start introducing people to the hobby and get them hooked like we all did. Saturday is actually our grand opening. We're opening our doors to the public first time. We're gonna do, with a paid admission, you, we're gonna have lots of fun prizes. So when you get here and you, and you pay your admission, you get to roll um, a 20-sided dice, or it's called a D20. Um, and then based on what number you roll, you'll get a prize based on that. So I'm hoping that'll be really fun for everybody because everybody, whether you play like Dungeons and Dragons or what, everybody likes to roll a dice and see what they can get for prizes. So I'm hoping that you guys get some good prizes.